Hello, my name is Amir. I'm pleased to say that I'm a dental surgeon and I'm here to talk to you. A budding dentist, a general dental practitioner perhaps, a dental therapist, or anyone for that matter, about the childhood fevers, the exanthematous fevers, the so-called acute specific fevers. Things like mumps and measles and German measles and diphtheria and chicken pox and whooping cough. And I put them all in here because in each case some sort of oral manifestation or facial presentation will be seen by us or will be picked up by us. And therefore you should know something about them. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about their incubation period. The prodromal symptoms, those are the symptoms that come on before the actual illness. Whether or not there is a rash, and what you would see in the mouth column, which is the most important thing for us. And whether or not they are protected by vaccine, vaccination program. So let's go very slowly through them. Chickenpox is a highly contagious viral illness. Is, and most kids will pick it up at some times or other. And because it's a viral illness, it has a long incubation period. So a couple of weeks of incubation period and you'll be right. And it's spread by droplet infection, by sneezing and by coughing, by sneezing in the nursery and in school, etc. And the important thing for us though is that you will see vesicles. You will see vesicles not only on the face, and on the arms, but more characteristically on the soft palate where the top gets dropped off and is therefore very diagnostic. You recall this is what is called the centripetal illness, where the maximum amount of rash is on the trunk and on the body with the sparring of the periphery.